Hem Mancuso saw such value in the sport of surfing that he moved his family from Raleigh to Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, so that his three children could grow up riding the waves. Here he talks to Nancy Hilmer of the Coastal Voices Project about what surfing has meant to his family. This interview was recorded April 30th, 2015, as part of the Smithsonian Institute's Hometown Teams exhibit at the Core Sound Waterfowl Museum on Harker's Island. There was a group of kids at that time um, that were my boys' ages, and so they just kind of pulled in Wallace along with them, and they all surfed every day after school, and you know, all day during the summers, and we'd take the truck and drive down the beach in the winter um, when the, all the piers were still here. Ann Wallace was you know, a baby. We still had um, Triple S and Sportsman's were still here. She grew up sitting in my truck at three or four years old, coloring and watching us surf in the <laughs> winter. <laughs> and she'd blow the horn and I'd you know, paddle length of the pier in, catch a wave, come in and go, what do you want? And she'd be like, Daddy, I dropped my crayon. <laughs> <laughs> she grew up in this pier house before she could surf. The girls in there would watch her. She'd come after school with a boys and when it's good I'd want to surf and so they'd feed her and she'd sit in there and call her. And so I mean she's grown up at this pier house. When the boys started surfing they started doing ESA. I just decided to start competing again because they were doing it. We were on the beach all day anyway. And then I got really involved with the Buddy Pelletier Longboard Contest. I'm the director of it now so we put that on every year. But that's really, it's really what brought our family down here was I just saw the benefits of, you know, small community and surfing and a healthy lifestyle in the ocean as opposed to what I was doing in Raleigh and just the sprawl and it's just not the way I wanted my children to grow up. I mean, I don't lock my doors on the beach. It's like stepping back in time, you know, I mean, it really is. And, you know, aside from the summer when it's really crowded, there's, there's not a lot of people here. Everybody knows everybody. I mean, it's just a really nice way to grow up. First thing we did was, um, I guess Wood was probably second grade and rough and tiny. Got Wood a surfboard and started pushing him into waves. And then when Ruffin was probably three or four, I took him out one day and with a longboard and just told him what to do and pushed him in and he rode every wave all the way in. I mean, people would just stop on the beach and just like, you know, this little tiny baby kid just natural, you know? And then Ann Wallace, of course, got to be the age and four or five years old and just, you know, brothers were doing what I was doing and she wanted to do it. And I mean, I remember taking her at Iron Steamer and pushing her into waves and she would come up at the beach used to, uh, at Iron Steamer, it broke so well there that the beach had kind of a slope to it. Mm -hmm. She'd be impacted with shells. And she'd ride everything into the, I mean, into the bank and come up, you know, just, and, and couldn't wait to do it again. You know, just fearless. They've all been water babies. <laughs>